So it's been a few months since the completionist and his family's charity was exposed for withholding over $600,000 that was meant to go towards dementia research. Since the dust has pretty much settled when it comes to that controversy, barring anything else related to it that may come out in the future, the other day I decided to check out his channel out of curiosity. I already heard that he's been making videos like it's business as usual. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like he's being welcomed back with open arms. He's not. If you have the dislike extension enabled, you'll see that his videos are still heavily disliked, he is still bleeding subscribers. But one thing I found very interesting in his recent videos are the comments under them. They are overwhelmingly positive. Now, I know this is because he is likely scrubbing any comments that are negative and bring up the controversy. But regardless, I am perplexed because there is still quite a number of people who will happily support this guy and make their support for him loud and clear. I know, any YouTuber and any public figure in general who has a substantial following will have their share of diehard fans who sticks by them no matter what. But this was not some inconsequential controversy like, I don't know, him being mean to a fan at a convention once, or some shit like that. Again, the charity that he was essentially the face of was caught withholding over $600,000 worth of donations that donors thought was going towards dementia research. Oh, but the money was finally donated, yeah, only after they got caught. What if Carl Jobs and Mudahar never conducted their investigation? That money would likely still be sitting there. And you can't can't even make the case that Gerard was ignorant the entire time because in the Discord call he had with Carl Jobs and Mudahar, he said point blank that he was aware of the money that was sitting there. He was just conveniently making a stink about it right before Carl and Muda began investigating the charity. But what easily disgusts me the most is how this guy was more than willing to continually bring up his mother, who died of dementia, to garner sympathy from his fans to donate to this charity for what, 10 years? He even brought her up again in his response video to the controversy, again in a desperate attempt to garner sympathy points from the audience. So when we're talking about a guy who is this shameless and tasteless, I have to ask, what do you still see in him? I understand if you found his videos entertaining before the controversy, before anyone knew any of this, but after the controversy, it is so obvious he has such little regard for his fans because he was happily lying to them for 10 fucking years, telling them that their money was going towards dementia research, and making it seem like he genuinely cares about the cause because, again, he would continually bring up his mother, who was a victim of dementia herself. So if this video reaches anyone who is still a fan of this dude, I want to know genuinely why do you still like him? And I don't give a shit if he makes entertaining videos. I didn't care about his videos before the controversy, but now with the hindsight of all of this, it is apparent to me, and I'm sure a lot of other people, that the way he conducted himself in his videos was just a persona. He was the happy-go-lucky video game reviewer who was committed to helping those with a horrible fucking disease because said horrible disease impacted his life and took away someone he was very close to. But since he has no qualms weaponizing that tragedy to gain sympathy points from people and to get them to donate to a fraudulent charity. Again, what do you like about Gerard, the actual guy himself? Not the happy face mask he puts on in his videos and still desperately tries to cling to after this controversy. This whole subject hits close to home for me because I lost a great aunt to dementia. I was never super close to her and I mostly only saw her on Halloween days, but even still, it was very depressing to see her wither away as the years went by. And on top of that, she had a husband, my great uncle, he's still alive, he's gonna be 91 in a few months, who had to watch his wife gradually deteriorate. Slowly but surely, he was watching the person he loved morph into a different person who eventually had no memory of the man who she was married to for over 60 years. And yet this asshole wants to weaponize such a horrific condition for personal gain. That's why I personally have no respect for Gerard, and I also don't respect anyone who is still a fan of this douchebag. That's all I have to say. Bye bye